all right hello friends uh, welcome to my channel so today we're going to do a review on uh, yamaha mg 10 xu how do we connect this audio mixing console back to the laptop so it's pretty simple with yamaha mg 10 xu you get an inbuilt audio interface usb type interface which allows you to seamlessly connect your audio mixing console back to your laptop so with yamaha mg 10x you don't get this audio interface inbuilt so you need to make sure that you're while you're purchasing you're purchasing yamaha mg 10xu which has this option so it's pretty simple so let me quickly show you that let me turn my audio mixing console to the back side give me a moment all right i've turned my console to the back side so if you could see here which provides a small pictorial explanation where it will tell you that you know from your laptop connect a cable which is of type usb 2.0 back to the audio mixing console so all you need is one cable which is called commonly called as printer cable so you need to connect that printer cable one end to your laptop and one end to your audio mixing console so this printer cable is called usb 2.0 with type a and type b connection you can check out my description below to purchase this uh, particular wire so here is a cable so if you see this this is a 5 meter cable called as usb 2.0 on one end you will see type b which will go which will go into your audio mixing console on the other end you will see type a which will go back to your laptop right let me quickly connect this so friends, I've connected this printer cable, one end to the audio mixing console, and other end uh, back to my laptop USB port. All right. All right, so that completes the cable connection part. So if you see the you know, audio mixing console, so they have provided a dedicated uh, USB line in on channel nine by 10. So if you see, you can use this channel, this line channel as a uh, you know you can connect your mics you can connect your accompaniments and use as a line channel but if you wanted to use as a usb channel all you need to do is you need to press this button down right so it will cancel your line channels but it will take the line coming from the usb so we have connected our printer cable right so output from your laptop will be directly coming into your channel 9 and 10 and you need to make sure this make sure that you are pressing this button down if it is up, like something like this, then only 9 and 10, whatever is connected to this 9 input and 10 input, those will be captured by this mixing console. So in order to uh, capture uh, laptop or the USB 2.0, all you need to do is press this button down. And the second thing if you need to do is that there is one more button here. So where do you want to send this output to? Okay, you have connected your laptop to your mixing console. So this mixing console is now able to receive the audio signals. Now where do you want to send these audio signals? So usually we send it to either monitor or stereo, right? So say suppose for now I have connected this to a stereo channel. So I'm using a powered speaker and connected this to my stereo output. So what I did is I press this button, this particular button down, okay? Such so that the audio signals that are coming to 9 and 10 goes back into goes back to the stereo directly back to your powered speaker say suppose you want to connect it to monitor as a line output so you can just simply press this up so output directly goes to your monitor outputs all right so currently i'm using stereo so i'm pressing the stereo and my line output goes to my stereo channel right now we'll see what is required in laptop in order to connect these two devices so you have mixing console you have your laptop you connected it with a printer cable you have set your 9 and 10 channel to listen audio signals coming from your laptop and you're, you're also you have we also mentioned that let these signals go back to your powered speaker now what does it require on the laptop front so that we are going to see in a moment so friends uh, back to the laptop so what we need we need an usb driver for windows 10 in order to able to understand the audio interface of your mixing console so steinberg which is collaborated with yamaha so they provide uh, this usb drivers to download so all we need to do is you can go to google and search steinberg usb driver for windows 10 the very first link you can open 
or else you can open a stainberg.net where you know where you will have a section to download the drivers so for windows you could see there is a driver here to which we can download and for mac we have a driver here for in order to download so for windows i just because i'm using windows 10 laptop i just clicked on download and a downloadable software was installed let me show you how it was installed so you can check it in your download section okay so you will get something like this so we need to have a, what we need to do is this uh, zip file you need to extract it here so once you extract you can see that a folder is created under this you have three sections so click on setup since i have already set up i will not be able to set it uh, set it up so all you need to do is click up set up uh, follow simple instructions do next next do i agree and click on finish and within 5 minutes a software a driver would be installed on your system so you now you can go, go back to your uh, zoom uh, meeting so if you go back to zoom meeting all you need to do is go to the audio settings right here so i'm clicking on audio settings so the moment you click on audio settings so there will be options here so there are two sections under audio on the left side audio section there would be a speaker and microphone so under microphone see which one is connected so you need to make sure that this line signal you know mg10xu is connected and also for your speaker section make sure this mg10xu driver is connected if we don't connect this so this will come just because we have installed the software right? for that reason we are able to see this new option if you don't install the software you will be not be able to see this option to select from this list so make sure while you connect to zoom you have your uh, mg chainbox software uh, driver installed on in your system so that you will get this option here and you will be able to select it and that's it friends that's it that's it so the audio that is coming from the zoom conference people speaking in the zoom it will come directly into your mixer and we have from the mixer we have seen how do we send it to the stereo output and people speaking outside of the zoom goes into the mixing console and from the mixing console goes directly back to the zoom so this is a to and fro connection seamless connection which is which was made possible just with a single cable and for that reason you know it is well appreciated and people there are many purchases on yamaha mg10xu because of this um, seamless integration of connection between uh, a laptop and a mixing console so that's it friends if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section i'm happy to help so i'll be providing uh, youtube link, uh, links where you could see how to connect your mg 10 xu to your mobile phone how do you use irig and a small review on mg 10 xu and several other tutorials which i have already made on yamaha mg xu you can just visit them and if you have any questions do let me know i'm happy to help thank you so much